Yeah, hey everybody, welcome back to Serve at Scale. This is the uh, podcast for Mindful Marketplace where we look at innovative and interesting ways to 10x our output, our audience, our impact, and ultimately our income on a bootstrap budget. So uh, we've been doing a couple work uh, walkthroughs of Shopify. Lots of folks are jumping on the Shopify uh, train. It's a, a really great platform uh, for those of you who are creating digital stores. Uh, you know, it, it has some different sort of, um, you know, there's a different appeal to Shopify, where there's a different audience for Shopify relative to some of the recommendations we make. Generally, we're talking to people who are selling uh, courses, uh, maybe selling some coaching and that sort of thing where there are better alternatives than Shopify. But if you're thinking about building a store or you have a product line, or in this case, I'm going to show you actually a um, a bookstore oriented uh, theme and design, uh, you know, Shopify is just awesome. Shopify has lots of of things going for it that some of the other platforms don't. Hugely supported. It's a big company. It's a publicly traded company, I believe now. And they have just tons of apps and integrations that make it really a no-brainer if you're building an e-commerce brand, business, or that sort of site. So uh, some folks have asked about my favorite recommendations for uh, themes for Shopify, especially for folks who are you know, writing books and, and uh, selling physical goods. And I'm going to show you my favorite. Obviously, this is a subjective thing. There's a particular theme maker that I really like, and he or she or they have really created some really cool themes. I'm going to show you a couple of my favorites here. This one's called Baseline, and if you look at the demo, it's really great for um, sort of, you know, kind of abstract, esoteric, or more alternative sorts of sites. So, uh, you know, you can see all of the, it's a very typography heavy oriented uh, site or design, I should say. So it's a lot, it, you know, it's very big text and, you know, it's just really kind of esoteric almost in terms of the design. You can see here what it looks like on mobile. And the nice thing about all the Shopify, um, you know, themes that are available on the Shopify store, they have a variety of styles. So you can choose now, let's say minimal rather than the bold design that we just looked at. So you're actually getting three themes in one. You can change these up very, very quickly. I actually did a video on how to do that uh, from a design standpoint, but you can change the aesthetic or the visual presentation very quickly within your site. I'm now doing that also by dint of the of just changing the theme uh, you know, style selector from the front end, but you can do this from the back end as well. And this, you know, is a modern, you know, theme relative to the uh, three options that are available or a mild, 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 a modern styling to the theme, which has three different aesthetics or styles that you can try and apply to your live site. And you, you could also switch those up as you see fit, Shopify is really, really good for you know making stylistic changes to a live site in a very cool and creative way. All right, so let's go back. And uh, again, if I was building a bookstore, which uh, some of you are doing in our community or, or building a store for your own book brand, this is the theme that I probably recommend. But overall, I mean, there are a few others as well that you can check out. But overall, I really love this particular company's designs. And again, I've purchased some things uh, from this company. It actually is, at least there's a, a gentleman who is behind the theme shop. I know that because I've interacted with him a little bit in years past. They actually uh, used to, or he actually used to uh, publish themes for Tumblr years ago. And this is actually where I was first introduced to his work. But all of his stuff from that point way back when to now doing work on Shopify is really unique. It's very cool. And out of all the themes, I happen to really like this one the most. It's really beautiful. And it's also good for, uh, you know, either small, you know, like sort of um, where is that? Why is that not showing me that? Small, 
you know, kind of digital storefronts or if you're selling products. Let me see why is that not coming up? I don't want to log into anything. All right, let me search for editorial really quickly. That's the name of that particular theme. And here it is. All right, so let's look at the demo. And again, you have three different options. The adventure one is also also cool. I don't love the, the middle style, but I love the agency and the adventure. Let's go back to agency. The other thing you can do with Shopify is you can see actual live sites that are running on a theme. So for an example, this coffee uh, you know, store uh, runs on this particular theme. They've done a really beautiful job with styling it. So you can see this is what, you know, really what you're going to get from the published uh, version of the site. And I, and I, and with very little coding, there's almost nothing you need to do stylistically to emulate this approach. So let's go back. So I can show you another site that's using this theme with one of the other styles. Again, you know, you can see this is for notebooks. Really pretty. And it obviously would be really ap appropriate or apropos for a bookstore and, you know, that sort of shop. And again, that's really what sort of triggered me to do this particular video because we have some people who are asking about Shopify designs for their own, uh, you know, books. All right, really nice, and you can do this on your own. There's no, you know, you don't have to design anything. You don't have to do any uh, any coding or anything like that. It just works out of the box. Anyway, you get the point. The uh, themes are editorial, and the newest one is, I think, called Baseline. Uh, and this, this, the theme shop is switch.co, and that's really uh, the theme maker that I recommend and use uh, most frequently. The themes themselves are a little bit pricey. All Shopify themes are a little bit pricier than WordPress themes, but they're really well done and they work and you're not going to be switching them up as frequently as folks who are used to using WordPress themes are apt to do. Okay, teach what you know, do what you love, wake up the world with your work. If you have any questions, as always, drop a comment below or send me an email, ianrhollander at gmail.com, and I'm happy to help if I can. Thanks so much, and as always, have a wonderful day.